Notre Dame, well known for its golden helmets, known as the Golden Domers. Even their equipment truck has a golden dome. How about that? They travel in style no matter where they go, uh, especially here to the Sun Bowl. The Fighting Irish held their second Sun Bowl practice in El Paso this afternoon. The first and only workout that was open to the media. Number 16 Notre Dame is looking to get to 10 wins on Friday in the 90th Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl versus number 19 Oregon State. We've gone over it already. There's always for the Sun Bowl a myriad of uh, opt outs. A myriad of important Notre Dame players have opted out of the game, including star quarterback Sam Hartman and star running back Audra Gostime, as well as lineman Joseph Ald. That means there's a big opportunity for a few players, especially for quarterback Steve Angeli, who will make his first career start of his college career on Friday versus the Oregon State Beavers and Jelly has played a lot in mop up duty this year. He has four touchdown passes, but starting a bowl game is a whole nother beast entirely. However, head coach Marcus Freeman and company have confidence confidence that Angeli can get it done. Steve has been a guy that we've had a lot of confidence in all year and um, anytime you're the backup quarterback we know at any moment you're going to be in the game and so Steve has done a great job in preparation a great job in opportunities he's had in the game so uh, I look forward to seeing him in his first start. You can just see the confidence in his eyes and his you know his cadence and all that and I've seen that from the pre-practice when we break the huddle and just you know he's he's uh, speaking a lot more he's speaking to uh, all the all the uh, position groups a lot more and we're all very confident in him. The Fighting Irish say they won't have to change the offense at all to accommodate Angeli. A Notre Dame official did tell KTSM today that it's currently unclear if the opt out guys like Hartman and Estime will be in El Paso to cheer on their teammates, but they are currently not yet here in the Sun City. As for Oregon State, the Beavers arrived in El Paso on Christmas Day, so their first practice in the Sun City ahead of the 90th Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl was this morning over at Eastwood High School. The Beavers are looking to become the first Pac-12 team to win the Sun Bowl since Arizona State did it in 2019. And like the Fighting Irish, Oregon State will have a backup quarterback playing for them in the Sun Bowl after DJ Uyunglele entered the transfer portal when the regular season ended. However, unlike the Fighting Irish, the Beavers Sun Bowl starter has a ton of experience. Ben Gilbranson went 7-1 as a starter in 2022 including leading Oregon State to a Las Vegas Bowl win over Florida. He fell all the way to third string this year, but the fact that he's done this before on a bowl game stage has the Bees very confident in him. I don't know, it's just kind of connection. You know, I'm used to Ben, you know, I'm used to kind of his wordage and kind of what he's saying and, you know, kind of what he sees, honestly. You know, we've kind of built a connection over the past three years. So, you know, just the comfortability with him and, you know, I feel like, you know, he's one of my closer friends, so just being comfortable back there, honestly. Some of our perspective about, you know, what this game means to us as far as not just playing, but being a leader and, and being a guy that some of the young guys can lean on. And I think Ben is really focused on that perspective. And uh, I think it's made him grow a lot in a lot of different ways. And I think it's helped him grow on the field, too. With tons of opt-out players and players missing for a variety of reasons for both teams. We'll see who steps up on Friday at noon in the 90th Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. Oregon State's 2-0 all-time versus Notre Dame. Both of those wins coming at blowout fashion in bowl games. However, the Fighting Irish currently six-point favorites over the Beavs on Friday.